Hey Internet, my name is Abby and welcome back to Take On Mars. The ultra high frequency antenna is finished and now I'm really excited to see if I'm finally able to construct the small lander for the South Polar Cap mission because um, yeah, it has a major worth of 500k, a minor worth of 100k and launching a large lander or a small rover would be too expensive so the only option would be to launch a new small lander and let me now see uh, i need the environmental analyzer station it's over here i need the uh, radiation assessment detector and then i need an antenna and where high gain low gain where the ultra high ultra high ultra high frequency no valid slot okay i'm still not able to construct a small lander for this mission huh i'm not quite sure how i should ever finish this mission maybe later on i will get a medium rover or a large rover mission so that i can just drive over there and finish this mission but right now i'm really not able to do this what do we have over here um Mission details. Explore, 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 probe, APXS, micro. Okay, uh, so may I can't fit so many instruments to a small rover, so I can't do this mission. Okay, um, what else can we do? Maybe Victoria Crater. Victoria Crater could be cool. Um, a rover mission? No, I don't want to do a rover mission right now. Um, large lander, huh? Mission details. Explore, analyze, analyze, photo, analyze, explore. Explore, two times exploring. Analyze, analyze, analyze. Huh, hum. I'm not quite sure if I'm able to... It would be cool if I could see all the different things, but uh, two times exploring sounds a little bit like I wouldn't be able to do this with a large lander because two times exploring sounds a little bit like okay you have to drive and okay do we what do we have over here another rover mission another rover mission uh, what is over here ems eas rrd scoop photo exploring only once okay only uh this could be good then quite close to a probe what do we have over here EMS, APX, Scoop, Explore. Okay, this is also a large lander mission. Yeah, I think I will try this. Maybe we can spot even this probe over here. This would be cool. Okay, time to construct a new large lander. And we need, of course, we... Mast Standard, Mast Advanced. I think a Mast Standard could be good enough. And then, what else? We need... Envi environmental analyzer station okay we need um, um, environmental monitoring system station okay then I can install it over here radiation assessment detector okay I can install it here the okay I need the robotic arm large lander I can install it I need the APXS okay and the soil scoop system Okay, I can install it over here, very good. And, okay, now I just need some power sources and some cameras and so on. Okay, I can now also try out my new advanced telefocus camera. I think this sounds pretty cool and the wide angle. And I like to install a wide angle even down here. Okay, and then I need antenna. Um, can I? Ultra high frequency, okay, I could use the ultra high frequency over here. Um, I'm not quite sure if this has an impact on my mission, but it's quite expensive compared to the high gain antenna, so I think I will just use the high gain antenna right now. And then I need some power sources, so um, basic battery. I think a basic battery could be good enough because we have a lot of slots, so we can save some money. Well, it's not so much money we can save but here yeah, i i will do this and okay i have fulfilled all the requirements i can now launch the mission okay and then i'm really excited if i'm able to sport the the probe that landed pretty close to this research area and this would be really really amazing okay um i need to make sure that like usual okay this looks good 
And here we go. Here we go for our second large lander mission. And well, maybe you have seen this, but I'm up to 12,000k. So I have earned a lot of money off camera. And this means I can hopefully, after finishing this mission, and maybe an additional mission, I can then hopefully start um, the research for the um, for the medium rover here. Yeah. Okay, um, we have now deployed our lander, and well, it's late in the evening. The sun is already quite low at the horizon. And well, this is this is a beautiful view. It's a, it's a nice, well, maybe it's a, it's a strange postcard view, but it's almost like a postcard view from uh, greetings from the surface of Mars, or uh, like these these usual pictures. Oh, is this over there even the probe? This would be cool. Uh, I need then to use my my thing my. My cameras, maybe I can use the telefocus camera to zoom in on this. No, maybe it's a little bit too large. Okay, the landing gear is extending. This is cool. This is very cool. And we are on the surface. Explore complete. Very nice. I like to switch to the interior. Okay, now I like to use the mass system. I'm currently telecamera. Very good. Um, and look at, at the great quality of the no, that's not the probe. And look at the the great quality of the the images. This is that's so cool. I like how over time the the camera images got better and better. Okay, I now like to connect to the satellite. Okay, I found already. Can I I can drag this a little bit around? Um, no no no. Now I like to see. Can I? Well, I think it's pretty small. And searching for this probe could be now a waste of time. Okay, we should focus more on the mission. So, um, yeah, what do I need to do? Photo. I need to take some photos. Um, what should I... Maybe a wide angle. Yeah, this could be better. Oh, that's a beautiful view. I like this. This is cool. Okay, let's take the picture and... Now I need my mast system to take some more pictures. Okay, there's my robotic arm. That's cool. Oh, uh, can I see if the... Okay, I thought there would something happen with this antenna, like that the antenna extends or something like this. And you have then some kind of uh, antenna dish or so, but, but no. Okay, this is also a panoramic image, like this, very good. And, oh, that's all, do I have another photo mission? No, I just need to do some analyzers. Okay, now let's turn the whole thing back to the, to the robotic arm. And what is the first analyzers I need to do? I should do an EAS. Okay, very good, time for some EAS. Okay, very good, very good. Capturing the gas. And I am I'm really happy about the, the quality of the images. This is this is so amazing and uh, this is also one of the coolest thing of the game that you really see the progress are uh, in researching things. Not only that you get access to a more technology, no no, you can really see how the, the images getting better and so on. Okay. Um while the thing is analyzing, what is the next task? It's um, APXS. Okay, um, analyze complete, very good. So I need now to switch to my robotic arm. I can start to extend this. We can switch over to this point of view so that we can... Um, no, I want to have this instrument so that we can see how the robotic arm is working. That's really cool. And I can rotate it around. Like this. this is so amazing. Okay, very good. And now I can continue extending my robotic arm. We can see how the distance is, distance is decreasing. What scoop? Why should I suddenly do the scoop? No, 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 no. I want no, not not the EAS. Or uh, somehow, yeah, yeah. Thank you. I want to the previous task. 
Okay, APXS. Now I'm happy. Okay, and just a few centimeters. I am now irradiating the the surface. So um, that's cool. And do not. Oh dang it! Somehow this this instrument moved. That's bad. This is something I've observed while I was doing all the other missions of camera that somehow uh, sometimes the, the rover or not the rover the the lander is bouncing and then it counts as okay I've moved the instrument and so I have to redo this as you have seen right now this again and I'm not quite sure I'm not quite sure um something is really strange uh, there is not really wind blowing or anything like this and we are not standing on a slope and well this is this is sometimes a little bit annoying when you're thinking, okay, I'm almost done, as as you've seen, like now, and then it suddenly stops doing its job, and well, I'm not quite sure. I hope we can we can finish the the job here, and um, yeah, it's, it's it's really strange, and I have no idea why this thing is always happening. Okay, um, are you now happy? Are you now happy? Maybe we can enjoy this from this point of view. As you can see, there is basically no movement going on, and I have no idea what is always causing the abort. Can we? Can we now, please? Yeah, very good, very good. Okay, now I can retract my robotic arm once again because the next thing is probably the scoop. And okay, content coming soon. Now I can sense the head, I can switch over to the scoop, I can bring down the scoop and I can now extend the robotic arm and I want to do the scoop, okay. Let's bring it down, just a few centimeters and okay, we are ready. I hope this time it's working without having any failures or so. I hope we can finish this. And indeed, indeed. Now we are analyzing. Very good. I think I can already start to retract my robotic arm. It's no longer needed. I can even do something like this. I can raise their head and now I can continue retracting the robotic arm. Very nice. I can even switch on the light. Okay, analyze complete. No mission assigned. We have accomplished the major. Wasn't apparently there was no minor goal. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. We finished this mission. This is amazing. So we are now up to 14k. That's amazing. That's that's really great. Okay, is there something else? Um for the Victoria Crater. There was this other mission I like to complete. Uh, this mission over here, I guess. Um, mission details. EMS, EAS, RRD, APX, scoop, photo. Here, I like to construct a new large lander for this episode. I like to have a standard mast as usual, the robotic large arm, then we need the environmental monitoring system uh, station. I can install it here, the environmental analyzer station, I can install it over there. The radiation assessment detector, RRD, I can install it there. Then we need the APXS down there and the soil scoop system down there. Okay, and now the usual things like a high gain antenna like these great cameras, a wide angle, a wide angle down here and the focus camera up here just in case and now some basic batteries so that we can take advantage of our lander and now the construction process is finished, well done. So time to launch and now we are going down here. I can adjust a little bit the target like this. Okay, and here we go next flight and then I think it's time to start the research process for the medium rover so that we can transition from the landers to the rovers 
And well, I think this is a quite expensive research project because uh, I'm not quite sure. I think the well, the the rover itself is about six k, six thousand k or so. Then we need, of course, the robotic arm. This is also a little bit expensive. Um, what is the sun doing? It's still above the horizon. This is good. And yeah, so I have to. Where is okay? The capsule is over there. So yeah, um, a lot of things to, or a lot of money to spend. Uh, but on the other hand, it's, I think this is then quite useful to to unlock the the medium rover because then we gain hopefully access to a lot of uh, more experiments. And I think this is then really cool, and we can do some nice missions. Okay, and. Explore complete. Very good, very good. Um, I can switch on the light once again. And, ugh. and um, mission. Science. I like at first to do the photos. Okay, photo over here. Switch to photo mode. Switch to the mass system. And okay, what? Okay. Wow, this is a nice panorama. That's cool. And this. Now I can continue turning around my mast. Okay, I can now capture this. Oh, okay, and of course on the opposite side. So I need to rotate everything completely around. Okay. And where are the last two dots? Over there, over there. What far? No, not far. Okay, I can now capture it. Very good. Okay, now it's time for some analyzers. Uh, what do I need to do at first? The EMS. No, the EAS. EAS. Okay, EAS. So, time for the EAS. And while the thing is working, I can already start to extend my robotic arm. Very good. I can prepare the I think I will start off with the APXS. I can prepare this. No 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 no. Nope. Um not the science platform mast robotic arm indeed. Okay, um why is there oh because it's still uh, on the ES setting. Okay. Analyze complete now the APXS um, select, bring it down. I hope this time we can do this without having the smell functions. Okay, it's doing once again the same arrow. That's that's really one of the most annoying things of the game when the thing is always aborting without no obvious reason and you have no idea why the thing is doing this. Okay, come on, game. Yeah, but I am in the right area. This is good. And there is no movement going on, so I have no idea. Oh, this is also a beautiful picture. Um, there can't be a movement. Why are you always aborting? That's strange. That's so strange. But yeah, this is really a great picture. Uh, I need to check for these occasions if there is uh, an option to disable the whole interface so that I can just see the the lander itself. This would be really amazing. Okay, finally, 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 it did its job. This is good. Now I can retract just a little bit my system so that I can turn over to the scoop system. Okay, and now I can start extending this. I can go over to the scoop. And... Okay, time to scoop some of the soil. Very cool. Scooping and analyzing, okay. Time to retract once again the robotic arm because 
that's all for the robotic arm. Now I can get this thing up. I can raise the arm, rig it. And okay. The arm is retracted and analyze complete. And we have finished the next mission. Very good. Okay, I can now disconnect. We did a lot. We completed two large lander missions. We are now up to almost 16k, 16,000k. This is amazing. Okay, I would like now to have the medium rover. We need the improved mobile chassis. The chassis for medium mobile science laboratory suitable for agile collection of scientific data. The socketing system provide the housing for advanced instrumentation. Okay. Time to do this. Then we need, okay, we have already the improved internal electronics. We need the improved six wheel control interface. Improved six wheel control interface for medium rover ensures regulation of each wheel server motor. Okay. Then the high strength low alloy steel. Low alloy steels are high carbon steels alloyed with a variety of elements to improve mechanical properties and increase, cor uh, yeah, increase corrosion resistance in hard environmental conditions. Okay, research this and okay. Then we need, of course, the uh, robotic arm medium rover. I think this is one of the most important things. We just need the medium rover arm housing. Housing for flexible robotic extension modable onto the medium rover, allowing installed instruments to reach the difficult accessible rears in front of the rover. Okay, here we go. So, um, then I like to um, research our thumb solar arrays. Uh, for well, I'm not quite sure if I will use the large lander, but I like to do all the research. And well, I have, well, I'm down to 7000 K. Maybe I should focus on the solar arrays for the medium rover just in case. Um, I would need the medium rover solar array assembly, but I can't access this. So um, what other components would I need? The monocrystalline silicon cell. Monocrystalline silicon is used as main photovoltaic material in high performance solar cells. Okay. And we would need photovoltaic energy conversion. Over here for the large lander, I am just missing. I'm missing nothing. Okay. So um, I would gain access to this. A thermal generator small. Thermal electric generator housing. Systems ha for housing the small thermal generator providing the electrical power to vehicle internal systems. The system employs heat sinks to utilize the waste heat from thermal electric conversion and keep the key components of vehicle at operational temperature. Okay. I think it's also time to gain access to these things. Then we need small plutonium 238 containment, shielding of plutonium oxide which serves as a fuel for the small thermoelectric generator. Okay. And we need thermoelectric energy conversion. Uh, thermoelectric generators are solid state devices utilizing semiconductor PN junctions to convert heat directly into electric electrical energy. Okay, that's cool. So now I am down to 6171k. I think this is enough money for now. I think I will do maybe some more other missions of camera so that I can earn some more money so that we are hopefully able to launch the very first uh, medium rover mission in the next episode. And yeah, with this, I'd like to thank you for watching. I hope you liked this and I hope you will be joining me in the next episode. Until then, my name is Abby. See you.